Hello and welcome to the Python tutorial series. My name is Daniel Lari, and in this uh, session, I'll discuss about a new concept of the programming that is called object-oriented programming concept. And in this session, I'll discuss about the introduction, uh, what is object-oriented programming concepts, and actually what is object and uh, how to implement the object-oriented programming concepts. So uh, first of all, uh, let's understand, and we have already talked about that uh, python is multi paradigm programming language uh, it supports functional imperative object oriented structure reflective so uh, python is actually the multi paradigm programming language paradigm means the approach by which we solve any problem so uh, so far we have learned the core python and in which we have talked about the functions and how to create and how to call the functions so uh, those uh, that that we create the function to solve any problem that is actually your uh, functional programming approach by which uh, you uh, you have the main focus on the action that what you want to perform that you write uh, in form of the function and whenever you need uh, to solve that kind of problem you call that function and now uh, we are going to learn the object oriented programming concepts and python also supports the object oriented programming concept so first understand that what is the key idea behind the object oriented programming uh, the key idea behind uh, the object oriented programming is two one is uh, class and second one is object so before going to the class description uh, let's talk about what is object so uh, object is actually a real world entity uh, in the layman term if we talk about what is object so object is uh, a real world ent entity if you if you find anything uh, near about you that uh, is, that exists in the real world you can say that is an object for example if you are using a phone that is object you are in uh, in existence in the real world so you are an object car fan pen so everything that you find around you that is in existence called object and if you say that uh, that particular thing is in existence and uh, that is an object so definitely these three points remember these three points because these three points is very important if you understand these three points and if you remember this one then you will not get any problem to write the code so in object oriented uh, can be entity that has the following three characteristics every object has three characteristics one is a unique id or identity for example uh, identity means by which you identify that particular object for example if you uh, say around you um, if you see uh, some uh, cars around you so how will you identify that a particular car is different from other one so you identify every car by its id means by the number uh, there are so many cars are uh, there but uh, if you want to find uh, uh, which is which one is your car so you will find uh, your car by your uh, car number uh, if every car is uh, is looking same okay so every object will have the unique identity uh, by which you will identify that, that object. Um, suppose um, there are so many persons and uh, suppose you, uh, you want to call someone. So you call that person by the name. And suppose if you, uh, there are um, um, two persons having the same name, so you will uh, call that person by a unique identity so every object that uh, in existence will have the identity uh, that must be unique in that real world to identify that and that object will have some attribute and attribute we say that the property or is state uh, if uh, we talk about in terms of the car so car uh, will have the properties like the color and the uh, number of seats uh, two uh, two sitting cars or five sitting cars and uh, so uh, you you can say that the properties of an object uh, uh, and uh, the attribute of that object so object will have some attribute and the sub property and every object will have some behavior behavior means the functionality or action uh, uh, suppose uh, if we uh, take an example of the car object then car will have the functionality that uh, car can uh, accelerate you can accelerate the car that uh, can move uh, that can, if you press the brake then it can stop so uh, uh, the functionality of that car is acceleration stop uh, left right moving and so these the action that you can perform by that object is called the behavior of that object so uh, simple the object is a real world entity the, and uh, uh, 
the thing that is in existence we call that is an object an object will have these three things uh, remember this one because uh, i will take these three things every time whenever i will write some code and uh, let's uh, talk about the class and object uh, so what is the class class is actually a blueprint used to create the objects having the same property or attribute as its class uh, so uh, class is simply we say that is a blueprint uh, and object what is object so object uh, will create with the help of this class so uh, actually the existence will be of your object not of your class so suppose uh, you want to create uh, a building if you want to build a building uh, so what will you do first first of all you will create a blueprint okay that uh, this uh, building will have these number of floors the uh, uh, the uh, floor will have uh, the number of rooms and uh, where will be your porch where will be your entry point so everything you will design by using uh, some pen and paper so that is called a blueprint but uh, you cannot stay in this blueprint why because this is a blueprint and by which you will uh, create an uh, building uh, create an object uh, in a real world so this is in existence and this will be in a real world but this is on the paper that is your blueprint okay so by help of this blueprint we create the objects in the same way we can say that this blueprint is a class and this that uh, the building that uh, 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 house that is in existence is object so actually the existence is of the object not of the class but the class is required to create the objects in the same way if you want to create objects in a program and uh, if you want to create the objects then you need to create first of all you need to define the class and you def define the attributes and the behavior of the class uh, of the object in that class okay so i hope uh, the class and object is clear uh, and uh, similarly what is the benefit of doing this uh, suppose uh, this uh, object is in existence and now uh, we want to create the same uh, type of the object in uh, an another object in the real world so what will we do uh, we are going uh, we'll go for a new uh, blueprint no since we have already the blueprint so we can create another building of the same type another uh, house of the same type it can it means we can say that by using a uh, one blueprint we can create multiple objects in a real world and if we talk about in terms of the programming the real world means memory the real world means uh, at the run time okay so uh, uh, let's conclude the class in objects and uh, one example with this uh, class is a template we can say uh, definition uh, definition of the methods methods uh, uh, in object oriented programming uh, uh, we call the function as a method okay and uh, variables in a particular kind of object an instance is an object of a class created at runtime so it will be created at runtime that will be resided resides in your memory the set of values of the attribute of a particular object is called a state we say that it is a, uh, the, the state of a variable is the attribute uh, and uh, the method is a function which belongs to a class for example suppose uh, you create a class uh, uh, a student so what attributes can a student can have uh, there uh, there may be a uh, uh, number of attributes but i am taking only few of them uh, first name last name address contact number course name so these are the attributes that uh, every student will have and according to uh, the uh, creation of the object every student will have different uh, different first name different last name address contact number and the course name and uh, a student can uh, do the functionality like uh, change of the address get details of the student so we can perform these kind of the uh, functionality in a class and uh, a student can opt a course so course can have a course name modules duration prices and uh, what is the prerequisite to opt the course and uh, the functionality by uh, uh, to the course class can be your add a course and change the course so these can be your functionality so functionality means the methods and uh, the properties means the attributes so uh, these are uh, the properties and these are the methods so in a simple way uh, uh, you need to uh, remember two things only one is class is a blueprint and second one is object is an instance of a class that we create uh, that created at the runtime which will have some 
attributes which will have some uh, behavior and the existence will be of object not of the class okay but to create a class uh, to create an object we need a class definition in the next session i'll mm. describe that how to class uh, how to create a class and how to create an object in the python programming so thank you for for watching this video please like comment and share the videos with your friends and uh, don't forget to subscribe this channel uh, there are so many videos that will be uh, coming uh, in the future uh, tutorial so please subscribe this channel thank you bye bye